What's up, YouTube? This is Courtney again, Truman Steamers Carpet Cleaning. Second job of the day. I'm up here in uh, I'm up here in Winder, Georgia. October 21st. The month is already almost over. It went by pretty fast, so we're about to go into the busy, busy season. And uh November, December is just crazy. Holidays coming up. People want the carpets clean. But anyway, I'm over here in my second job. Again, I'm in Winder, Georgia. New client. She found me online. Uh, she liked my, uh, we had a good conversation and basically she just got a good feel from, um, for me, uh, over the phone. Uh, she also enjoyed the website. She told me she watched a lot of my before and after videos, um, which, you know, that's a good thing, you know, and, um, basically just, you know, making myself stand apart from other, you know, companies. But anyway, this customer has never used me. She's never seen me. Like I said, we just had a conversation over the phone. You can see that the carpets are not in bad condition at all. So this is going to be a easy job, probably about an hour. So she has uh, three bedrooms, living room, dining room combo. And then she said there was also uh, a room upstairs. I, th I guess it's the bonus room. Yeah, right here. But... Uh, we're not gonna do the stairs. We're just gonna do the room upstairs. So, uh, but another reason why me making this video is that the customer trusts me so much from our conversation that she um, left the keys under the doormat. So I let myself in. She, she also left a note right here. Truman Steamers, thank you. Please leave the key on the counter and lock the front door knob. Call me if you have any questions, Kim. And also, she left an envelope with my payment in it. So, um, I quoted her for this job. It was a total of $170. So, yeah, this is my second job for today. Some more money in there. I don't want to leave any money. Uh, yeah, no more money in there. So, uh... 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 40, 60, 70. So 170 guys, cash. Just came from a $220 cash job, Lawrenceville. And I got one more job after this, which is a lady who booked today. Uh, lady called two customers. Uh, she booked one last week. They rescheduled on her three times and never did not show up for the appointment they had today at eight o'clock this morning. She called another company. And they did not show up. So uh, I'm going to take care of her today. Uh, she also told me on the phone that when she called me, this is the customer that called me this morning. She said uh, she had a total of seven areas. I quoted her one eighty nine. And uh, she said, well, you're a little bit more expensive than the other companies. I said, if you don't mind me asking, what quotes did you get from the other companies? Uh, the company that quoted her, what well, didn't show up three times since last Friday. Uh, they didn't show up Friday. They didn't show up Monday. And they didn't show up this morning. Um, they quoted her for seven areas, $69. And the other company quoted her uh, $99 for seven areas. And I told her, I said, ma'am, that might be a reason why they didn't show up. Uh, you know, you have to realize what kind of companies you're dealing with. So I'm going to go take care of her this afternoon, my last job between four and five. So, yeah, guys, um, communicate with your customers, you know, make yourself stand apart and also, uh, you know, do good work. Make people feel comfortable when they call you, you know, try to be as professional as possible and, uh just treat people right, and you know, I guarantee you there will be a day will come where you will not ever have to worry about work coming in. Um, also, I use this app called House Call Pro. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of it. I've been using it for about two months. I love it. I book all my jobs on House Call Pro. It notifies the customer when I book their appointment for the day, the time, and the amount. It also sends the customer a notification the night before their appointment. So it's basically a reminder. And it also sends the customer a alert text message or email when, I, when I'm on the way to the job when I'm done with the job, and also when they make a payment. So this customer here, she got a text message 
And actually, I have it on my other phone. Let me show you guys right quick. Try not to make this video too long. But this is my little work business phone. And uh, let me see. So here's the app right here, House Call Pro. And just to show you guys how it works. So this is the job that I'm at now. That's the customer's name. This is the address, the amount that I'm doing it for, the time. I can reschedule the job if I need to. So let me go back. So I've already hit start job so the customer know that I'm on the way. Um, what is that? I didn't mean to go to my voicemail. So let me go here. Let me go back. So that's to show you guys. That was my first job that I did this morning in Lawrenceville. This is the second job, and this is the last job I have in, in Loganville. Uh, tomorrow, I have four jobs on the books for tomorrow. I've already got three jobs on the books for Friday. Um, haven't got anything for Saturday yet. I already got a job for Monday. So I love this app, guys. It's real good. Helps you. Uh, it makes your job easier. And uh, that was Monday. I had three Monday. I only did one yesterday. A little easy $200 job. But yeah, guys, check it out. House Call Pro. Real, real nice app to use for small business owners. There it is right there. And um, if you do decide to sign up, uh, tell them that Courtney with Truman Steamers recommended you. And uh, I'll get me a little uh, referral fee. So thanks again, guys, for watching my videos. Again, this is Courtney Truman Steamers. And I'll see you guys in the next one.